All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to how to write the medical school personal statement and get into Georgetown and UCLA medical schools. This presentation was put together by the Solomon Admission Medical School consulting team. The Solomon Admissions Medical School consulting team consists of former, former allopathic medical school, medical school admissions officers from different medical schools in the country, such as Stanford, WashU and St. Louis, Harvard, UC Irvine, University of Michigan, University of Chicago, and University of Washington, as well as other top medical schools. So first off, why care? The average acceptance rate at allopathic, med, med, allopathic MD medical schools is between 3 to 4%. Over 50% of medical school applicants get rejected by all medical schools. So basically, you know, over 50% of applicants don't get into a single medical school. So how to write the medical school personal statement? As you begin the process, not all of the best or most effective personal statements look similar. Don't expect that your statement needs to follow the same approach, format, or content as another personal statement, even a great one. Whatever your content, focus on conveying it thoughtfully with an emphasis on self-reflection and self-awareness. Be mindful of seeking too much input because you can receive conflicting information. You, you want to make sure that you don't have too many cooks in the kitchen. Find advisors with very specific experience, such as pre-med advisors, admissions personnel, and consultants, as long as they can dedicate the necessary amount of time to working with you. So how much weight does the personal statement carry? It depends. Ultimately, the track record of experiences and achievements are going to support or not support what you claim in the personal statement. Hence, generally, the track record will trump the personal statement. Ideally, your qualifications will already reflect your commitment and passion. The statement will provide even more insightful information. In that case, the weight of your personal statement can be significant. An impassioned personal statement about your commitment to care for others that is not supported or reflected in actions can possibly mean that your personal statement might not carry as much weight. Understand your audience. The personal statement can be reviewed at different levels by admissions staff, interviewers, admissions committees, deans, etc. Consider the different circumstances of how an applicant reads their own single application versus how an admissions member reads one application followed by hundreds or even thousands of other applications. It is likely very different. The applicant has unlimited attention and time to read, interpret, and enjoy their one personal statement. However, the admissions members or people on the admissions committee have less time to read and much more reading of many more other statements and applications. Be mindful of spending too much time painting a picture or setting up a scene at the expense of getting to the facts that you want known. A greater purpose for the statement is to share information or facts rather than trying to quote, entertain, unquote, the reader. Understand the question and prompt to determine the content of your statement. It is generally understood that the purpose of the personal statement is to indicate why you want to go to medical school, why do you want to be a doctor, but that is not the only question or consideration. Many take the approach of a linear chronology of experiences related to one's first interest in medicine or science followed by subsequent experiences that affirm this traje trajectory. Unfortunately, this often reads more like only a restatement of the application. It may not add new or insightful information. So that's important to keep in mind because the personal statement is really not a summary of your CV or your resume. It has to be much more than that. Let the relevant and impressive experiences or accomplishments listed on your application do the heavy, heavy lifting of proving your commitment and passion. Presumably, you spent years and many, many hours engaged in intellectual pursuits, scholarly, scholarly work, research, caring experiences, leadership, and advocacy endeavors. Your record will speak for itself in conveying passion and commitment, so try not to make the personal statement 
only a narrative version of what you've already indicated on the application. Strongly consider emphasis on the additional prompts provided on the MCAT. They are, why have you selected the field of medicine? What motivates you to learn more about medicine? What do you want medical schools to know about you that hasn't been disclosed in another section of the application? Special hardships, challenges, or obstacles that may have influenced your educational pursuits. Commentary on significant fluctuations in your academic record, which are not explained elsewhere in your application. Some of the prompts facilitate your de demonstration of maturity, introspection, integrity, resilience, compassion, professionalism, capacity for hard work, sense of purpose, creativity, intellectual vitality, and an overall ability to recognize the qualities that make up your essence. This requires more careful thought about who you are, why you are that way, and how those qualities or experiences are assets for a career as an advocate, leader, and innovator. All qualities of, of successful people, including physicians. Other prompts to consider. What are you most proud of, most important achievement in your life? Whatever makes you a special great person will also contribute to why you are a special and or a great doctor or any other professional. Think of important qualities of a physician and describe how those were formulated in your life. How were they developed and who or what influenced you? What is the context of your life experiences? What do you value the most in life? How will that benefit your professional aspirations? If you have had a different career, then it can be appropriate to spend a fair amount of space explaining the change in direction. And this is especially important for non-traditional applicants who've taken a good, good amount of time off between undergrad and medical school. Use good judgment. Use good judgment not to offend or come across. Insert negative quality of your choice here. This does not necessarily mean that you should shy away from controversial topics if those are part of your story, but be conscientious not to come across as righteous or unable to value other people's perspectives. Suggestions for secondary application responses. Responses to the secondary application questions should be based on the understanding and knowledge of the institution's mission, priorities, and record. The following are some considerations about the institution and the questions. Georgetown University School of Medicine. The mission statement of the Georgetown University School of Medicine is this. Guided by the Jes Jesuit tradition of care personalis, caring for the whole person, Georgetown University School of Medicine will educate a diverse student body in an integrated way to become knowledgeable, skillful, ethical, and compassionate physicians and biomedical, <coughs> biomedical scientists dedicated to the care of others and the health needs of our society. There's an emphasis on religious influence, the Catholic and Jesuit tradition, specifically states education of a diverse student body, an emphasis of caring for the whole person and care of others and the health needs of a society. Here's a breakdown of the percentage of Georgetown graduates uh, of Georgetown accepted applicants with particular experience and the career specialties selected by their medical graduates, and this is a possible indicator of the institution's emphasis. So the percentage of students who are accepted at Georgetown University School of Medicine uh, with research and lab experience is 86%, so that's highly valued at Georgetown. The, with the percentage of applicants who are accepted who have community service not that is not medically or clinically related is 72%. Uh, the percentage of those applicants accepted who have a community service that is medically or clinically related is 79%. Specialties chosen by Georgetown grads. Anesthesiology, 6%. Internal medicine, 16%. Pediatrics, 7%. And it goes on down the line. Georgetown sec secondary application questions. Georgetown University School of Medicine strives to ensure that its students become respectful physicians who embrace all dimensions of caring for the whole person. Please describe how any personal characteristics or life experiences will contribute to the Georgetown University School of Medicine community and bring educational benefits to our student body. The word limit is, a, is, is the character limit is 1,000 characters. This is a question that incorporates part of the mission statement, the care of the whole person, 
and is clear about what the response should include. It should demonstrate how your values and actions are consistent with the institution's values. It's helpful to demonstrate your knowledge or understanding of how the health of the whole person is influenced by economic, cultural, geographic, religious, racial and ethnic, political, sexual, and other differences. Share your own diverse experience with these factors to emphasize your, your appreciation. Another operative word used in the mission statement is respect and or respectful. In the context of serving patients or working with peers that have different perspectives and values, your ability to be respectful should be included. Why have you chosen to apply to Georgetown University School of Medicine, and how do you think your education at Georgetown will, will prepare you to become a phys physician for the future? One to two pages. The allotted response space is relatively extensive with up to one to two pages available. This suggests that a more self-reflective response could be preferred as opposed to only listing, only a listing of descriptions found in a brochure. Georgetown has a very specific quality that makes it different from most traditional from most medical schools. The mission statement emphasizes the tradition of the Jesuit order or the Catholic Church. A strong understanding of this quality can be important for answering the question. The Jesuit tradition particularly emphasizes care of the most vulnerable in society. If this religious influence is personally important, then this response could be a good opportunity to discuss your faith and its impact on your life. This question can be answered in many other ways, other than religion, <laughs> that do not require specific religious comment but again, the mission statement must be considered. Is there any further information that you would like the Committee on Admissions to be aware of when reviewing your file that you are not able to notate in, a, in another section of this or the AMCAS application, 1,000 characters? Could be appropriate to include any inconsistencies. Obvious ones are academic and some others might include omission of a le recommendation letter from a principal investigator with whom you have pursued in-depth research experience an, ex an explanation of why there isn't a more robust record in a particular category, a more in-depth description of a career change, information about additional responsibilities and challenges that may have negatively impacted your application, new achievements or new plans for the year. UCLA David Geffen School of Medicine. The mission statement of the UCLA David Geffen School of Medicine is the school seeks students who will be future leaders, have distinguished careers in clinical practice, teaching, research, and public service. The school strives to create an environment in which students prepare for a future where scientific knowledge, societal values, and human needs are ever-changing. Note, the statement above encompasses the entire David Geffen School of Medicine, but there are three different medical school programs within the school. There's the main UCLA David Geffen School of Medicine program with 133 students, the UCLA Prime program with 18 students, and the Charles Drew or UCLA Medical program with 24 students. The latter two programs include a mission that emphasizes addressing the needs of medically disadvantaged and underserved communities. Additionally, the mission statement includes the following supplement. Enthusiasm for lifelong learning. Commitment to humanistic, compassionate, and ethical care of the individual and family. Skills and effective community communication and commitment to education, including teaching students, colleagues, patients, and the community. Ongoing development of a broad and flexible base of knowledge and skills that integrates basic, clinical, social, and behavioral sciences with the art of medicine. An understanding of the scientific method and an appreciation of its application to clinical practice as well as to research. Commitment to promote the health and well-being of the community and an understanding of the special challenges and requirements of a diverse society. Ability to lead in their chosen fields in settings of rapidly changing technology and societal needs, and the ability to address complex societal and medical issues through a systematic, multidisciplinary, and collaborative approach. There's an emphasis on distinguished careers in clinical practice, teaching, research, and public service. Commitment to addressing the needs of a diverse society, Emphasis on the scientific method and its application to both clinical practice and research. Emphasis on lifelong learning. Academic medicine is a strong example. In considering a significant emphasis of this institution, it's helpful to know that UCLA is a highly ranked research institution. It's ranked number 13 for research medical schools according to the 2016 U.S. News and World Report annual rankings. 
The percentage of UCLA accepted applicants with particular experience and the career specialties selected by their medical, medical graduates is a possible indicator of the institution's emphasis. So the percentage of the students accepted at UCLA School of Medicine with, a, with, a, with research and lab experience is 93%, which is the overwhelming majority. And the overwhelming majority also have community service related to either the medical or clinical settings at 92%. Specialties chosen by UCLA grads, anesthesiology is 4%, internal medicine is 15%, radiology diagnostic is 5%. UCLA secondary application question. What has been your most scholarly project, thesis, research, or field of study in basic or clinical science or in the humanities? Describe one and give the number of hours, dates, and the advisor, 800 characters max. Given the strong research nature of this institution, it is perhaps one of the most meaningful questions on the UCLA secondary application. The mission statement specifies that it seeks future leaders that, have, that will have distinguished careers in various areas. Those that will advance the fields will have a record of scholarly work so this response can be used to evaluate your potential for meaningful contributions in the future. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? What experiences have led you to this goal? 800 characters max. Many will answer this in the context of their professional or medical career. That is valid, but it is also insightful to comment on other aspects of one's life. Life goals include more than only professional accomplishments. Specificity beyond specialty selection can emphasize more depth in understanding the profession. For example, in addition to patient care and research, a medical degree can lead to careers in policy, education, business, law, and in leadership roles addressing various areas such as ethics, cultural competency, public health, etc. Is there any hardship to which you would like the committee to give special attention in evaluating your application? Then check the box labeled hardship and briefly explain why you are indicating a hardship. Include any geographic, language, economic, academic, physical, or mental factors. The context of one's accomplishments is almost as important as the achievement itself. Distance travel helps provide some distinction in a large pool. Sometimes individuals are averse to identify their experiences as disadvantaged because of a perceived negative stigma. That should not be a limiting criteria. At Solomon Admissions Consulting, we provide comprehensive one-on-one -on -one consulting on the entire medical school admissions process from a former medical school admissions officer at a top allopathic U.S. med school. We help you out with a personal statement. This includes topic, essay topic and essay content suggestions from former medical school admissions officers. We help you out with strategic positioning consulting, which is advising on how to stand up for the rest of the class. This is also done by former admissions officers. We help you out with all of your secondary essays for, you know, pretty much every med medical school has their own set of secondary essays and different things that they're looking for. And so we can tell you what different medical schools look for in their secondaries, and, and we will help you to write and edit those. We give you insider information on medical school preferences at places like Georgetown and um, UCLA. And just, just so you know, uh, if you look at our website, you will see examples of other secondary application questions and how to tackle those on, on our website. We help, you, we help you out with the AMCAS application, including um, mentioning, including how to fill out the AMCAS activity and, and work experience sheet. We help you out with recommendation letters. We advise you on extracurricular activities consulting, and this is especially helpful for current college sophomores and juniors who, who are pre-meds and who need help strengthening their research, clinical, or volunteer experiences for medical school applications. So we do a lot of coaching with sophomores and juniors who are in college. And we also help you out with mock interview preparation, which is critical for, for admission to med school. And one other thing I'll note is that we work with applicants also who are in high school who are applying to the eight-year BA, BA MD programs at places like Brown, Northwestern, and Rice-Baylor. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us by phone or by email. You can reach me at email by email at dan.lee at solomonadmissions.com, or you can reach Vitali at vitali.borishan at solomonadmissions.com.